Hey everybody, Janice Whiting here. I'm going to make sure that this is showing correctly on our page and also that the sound, okay, it looks like it is good. If someone can pop in, Deidre, can you hear me? Okay, always want to make sure. I see you and thank you. See if I can make this bigger. Deidre, can you hear me? Okay. Oh, dang it. There's my volume. I'm thinking it's working. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Deidre. Um, I thought it'd be fun to come in, and um, I haven't been to um, show our journey sketches lately. Uh, life has been busy, busy, crazy, crazy. I'm feeling, though, a little bit of a good break from our spring break. Here in Texas, our spring break, I uh, hear in Texas, well, in my area, our spring break was last week. So I had a nice time to kind of recoup, re energize, refocus. Hey, Kazan! Um, and anyway, so I feel like I've gotten a little bit of a, a little energizer boost. And so here I am at almost 10 o'clock p.m., at least my time, and coming to show you our latest journey sketches, okay, or sketch. So let's see, I wanna make sure I can see. Hey, Christine, hi, Cindy. Hey, Kimberly, thank you for saying you could hear me. I appreciate that, because I wasn't sure. And then I turn it on, and it's like, Woo! So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the sketch for the week. Uh, I know a lot of y'all are familiar with our um, Journey Sketches page. So this week, I was like, I'm gonna keep it really simple, like really simple. So this is as good as it gets this week. Basically, shape of the card right there. You've got two areas, and this might be, oh, it's showing up backwards, isn't it? And I can't ever figure out how to switch the view, so it is what it is. It says clear area, okay? So this would be a clear area, and this is a clear area. Hi, Tanya! Good to see you. Hi, Jana. Hey, Tori! Good to see you guys. Um, but man, this must be the night to catch people at 9.48 p.m. Anyway, this is sketch 22, okay? Put a little uh, something, something right here. And remember, the way that sketches work is you kind of follow the main outline of the sketch. And you kind of make everything else and add whatever kind of stuff you want to make it your own. So the card that I created to go with this sketch is this one right here. Okay? And... You can see that there is clear area, my hand back there, in between those two things. Now, isn't this like the easiest, most simplest sketch? Yet, by adding this clear element, it kind of elevates it a little bit, huh? It kind of takes it to a different place. Now, I have a confession to make. So, you guys know that um, I mentioned life has been busy and um, really, I came. It's my week. Kazan and I switch off weeks, and it came to my week here Sunday. And uh, <laughs> and um, I was. I mean, I had a great spring break. I was refreshed, but I still put it off till like last minute. So I'm coming down to the wire Sunday night, going, Ah, I've got to get my sketch in. So this is what I came up with, and I think it works. Right? Simple, easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did this. Super, super fast, super simple. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera on in a minute. One day, I'm gonna figure out how to do this multi-camera thing and have it still post on Facebook Live. I don't know if I can do it. I'm sure I can, I gotta figure it out. Marcy, I'm looking into that handy cam, I mean, manny cam. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and hopefully it will um, work out. Hi, Seal! Christine Roy, it's 1049 in Rhode Island, waiting for another foot of snow. Oh my gosh, bless your heart. Another foot of snow? I am like ready for this cold weather to leave. And today it was a high of 60 something. And now you're probably thinking that's so warm. I'm like, I'm ready for 70s and 80s. This is Texas, so not Rhode Island. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can turn this camera that way. So bear with me, because this is not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Nanette! Yeah, absolutely! I love to do it, and I'm not, I mean, <laughs> the one time I'm not tired. I mean, I am a night owl, but, okay, here we go. Let's see if I get it straight here. Let's 
All right, let's see how that looks. Let's see if I make sure to get this straight. I don't really want so much of that. I think I think that's good. Now I know it's um, backwards, so forgive the fact that the just because is not as it should be. The just because is the other way, and I can't figure out how to do that. So I'm sorry. Hi Donna, good to see you. So hopefully you can see this okay, and there is a little bit of a delay, so um, bear with me on that. Also, I do have a cat who does not have any, um, I say does not have any, he just obviously, cat. he's a cat, and a cat will do what a cat will do, and he thinks he rules the house, so he may, hopefully he won't interfere, but we shall see. Okay, so the way I started this card, I actually started this card with a white base. Um, and I kind of, you know, as designers do, or at least I do anyway, I kind of, it morphed into what I wanted it to be. Now, before I um, go into creating, I wanted to pull out my box. And I know every one of you has one of these, okay? Let me see if this will come into view, okay? So I have this box right here. And it is full of die cuts. I mean, die cuts galore. In this little baggie, I had die cut some of our tabs and for one project, and I just had a whole bunch left over. In this baggie, I have circles. Um, let's see. I even saved tags because you never know what you can use. Uh, this is when I won the trip to Cancun. That's going to happen here in April. And they gave us this attached to Morocco. I was like, I'm saving that because I can use these. And actually, I'm actually using one of these. Um, let's see. Our little house die. You know what? It's so much. And I'm sure every single one of you has a box like this. Most recently, I made a uh, spring banner. And I was cutting out the letters of spring, and of course, that means I have lots of extras. And I was like, hey, that's okay. I, I know I'll use these one day. Anyway, here's my point of bringing out this box. I know everyone has it. So last minute, I'm having to design a card. I really don't have that much time, so I'm busting out my die cuts box. Because I'm like, you know what? I can do something with some of the things in this box. And so, honestly, that is how my card Came. Yes, I know, Robin, we all have this box. So it may not be this exact box, but, but we have tons. I'm sure we do. I mean, I got so many. Look at this cute doily. <laughs> Even stamped ones that I stamped for other cards but ended up not um, going. I mean, it'd be fun. I also have, like, random scraps of ribbon that didn't go on a project. I mean, you know, we all have the box. We all have the box. <laughs> So, my point in bringing that out is I really used, I didn't die cut a single thing for this card. Literally, I went into my die cut box. <laughs> I really did. I just went in there, looked through it. I found this flower, and I have a confession to make. I did not put this flower together. Actually, last spring, about this time, my son's class was putting together a project for a gala. And I was kind of leading it, and they made this beautiful little spray of flowers. And so I had each child in his third grade class put together these flowers and do a little splash. And so my son actually created that card because there were some of this flower. Some flowers didn't fit, so we only picked a few um, to kind of go on this little project. Anyway, so needless to say, I had lots extra. So I thought he did a good job, and I think it looks great on here. All these other extra, they're just extra die cuts that I had. Um, but just so you want it, so in case you know, this flower came from our summer bouquet steel rule die, as well as these leaves down here on the side that are a little bit bigger. And then this right here, these kind of sprigs sticking out are from our bloom cluster die. So if you're familiar or not familiar with the bloom cluster, it is a must have. And let me see if I can grab it because I had it right over here. It is one of my favorite die sets. It's called Bloom Cluster, and it creates the cutest little pieces. And you know what I do? Because it creates this whole section, I literally just trim and cut and use what I want. So I'm going to bring over. So this right here is, is basically this part of the die, and I've got this one. It's a little bit longer. And these pieces were just some of the pieces off to the side that I didn't use on a previous or prior project. So... 
you know, um, this is kind of how, how I roll <laughs> is I, you know, you know what? Work smarter, not harder, right? Anyway, so I brought out some of those to maybe use, and I had a leaf that I used on a previous project, and I actually know, or at least might have used, was going to use possibly, but I know that I maybe was going to use it because I see there's a little bit of glue there. <laughs> hey, it's still good. Um, this little guy, I believe I got from a petal, and I thought, oh, this is kind of cute. I can use it for a leaf. Um... And then, like I mentioned, this one here came from that Cancun um, tag that part was part of the little um, congrats that was tied around my maraca. Anyway, but this is also another one of our dies, and I'll come in the comments later. I can't remember the exact die, but we have awesome, 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 awesome greenery dies. So many different ones. So. I wanted to kind of get that out there before I actually started showing you how I made the card. So you'll need, if you don't have the summer bouquet um, or the, any of the bloom cluster dye or any of the other greenery dyes, you'll definitely need something like that, okay? Now for this card, starting out with the white base again, and this time I'm gonna leave it white because I'm gonna use a pink flower. And this one is, it's the same group came from the same group of flowers that my yellow one did. And I know because if I look on the bottom, it has one of his students, his classmates. So Vivian made this beautiful. It didn't make the cut for the class project, but it sure is making the cut for my card. <laughs> and I don't mind that it's big. I love that it's big. It makes it just, I don't know, it kind of fills the card and really has a focal point. It gives it a focal point. All right, I'm going to kind of get some of this stuff out of the way and bring out my paper trimmer so I can show you how I put this part together. So here we go. And I'm hoping that this shows up okay. And this is exactly what I did to create those pieces. Again, started off with the regular base. Hey, Tracy, I see you. <laughs> Regular card base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim an inch from the top. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. I'm going to line up the top of my card here right along the cut side. Actually, I'm going to, I'm not going to cut here. I'm actually going to move this to the inch because I want this, I want one inch to be uh, part of my stripes. I want it to be like this part right here. So I want that to stay intact. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that. And I know you're probably freaking out. You're like, ah, you just cut your card base, but I did it on purpose. So you have this part. Okay, so now you have your card back with this. Then you're eventually going to attach your clear sheets to to create that clear part of the card. All right. Okay, so from here, the clear section is about half an inch wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other part, this panel, and I'm going to cut half an inch off of this section here. Okay. So this will be kind of, this will take place, or the clear will take place of this that I just cut out. Now I'm going to go to the opposite side, and I'm going to cut an inch off of here. So this will be the bottom of my card. Now bear with me if you're like feeling like you're getting lost, bear with me. Okay, so think about it this way. This will be the bottom inch and this is the top inch, okay? I already cut the half inch that's gonna be see-through from the top, so now I need to cut the half inch that's gonna be see-through from the bottom, if that makes sense. It'll make sense here in a minute. So I still have this, now I'm gonna cut half an inch on this side. All right, so now this is the half inch that's going to be out from the bottom. It's going to be see-through once we add our clear sheet to it. Okay, I'm going to move this cutter out because I'm done with my cutting. And let's see, white on white. We might want to put a black sheet under just so we can see a little bit better. Let me see. Anyone excited about the tool that we are getting? 
You know, we're getting that magnetic, uh, self, not mag yeah, I think, well, I'm not sure if it's magnetic, magnetic, but it's the self-healing mat that's black. We're getting it. I'm so excited. Just for this purpose, I can put this under here. Okay. So you see there, I've got an inch on top. I've got an inch on the bottom. And then this piece here is going to go in the center to create that um, clear area. Now, up here, which you may or may not be able to see, I have a sheet of our clear acetate paper. Christine, you're with me on the on the self-healing mat. I'm totally excited. And I'm totally excited that they're making it black. Because, you know, they could have easily made it the orange FSJ green. But I really, really am excited that they made it like a classy black. I'm excited. Anyway, back to this. This is the clear acetate sheet. And I went ahead and I cut it the exact size of our card. So four and a, a quarter by five and a half. So the first thing, and just because it makes it easier, I don't have to like piece things together and kind of guess. It makes this part so easy. So the first thing is I'm going to take some of our clear, um, white, not clear. I don't know why I said clear. I guess because of the sheets. I'm taking some of our double-sided white liner tape. I'm going to put a strip right there at the edge and then another strip on this edge here okay who else is a fan of our white liner tape I'm loving it I love it love it love it I'm gonna grab our journey bloom tool kind of burnish that a little bit and then using the pick attachment Grabbing that and taking the backing off. Don't you love this? I love it. I love it. I love it. And if you're not familiar with this, guys, you've got the brush end to uh, rub off. So, for example, I've got this uh, doily die. If once you run it through, sometimes you'll get these little shards that stick through. If you just rub it like this, it'll make all of those shards go away. It's awesome. Makes it easy. Um, it also has a straight little attachment. It has a uh, dry embossing attachment and it's real easy you just kind of hold that down and this comes up and you keep it down to place it back in and then there's a little ball there you might not be able to see but it kind of keeps that little attachment in place which is awesome it also has a storage uh, area in the center did y'all know that so you see those little little uh, open areas there I can grab one of the other attachments stick it in here. I know some of y'all may already know, but for those of you that don't, it stores. It just stores in there. And then you just close it up and you can use it at a later time. Anyway, got to show you. Okay, back to the card. I'm going to grab the clear acetate. Now that I have put the white liner double-sided tape in there, I'm going to very carefully get this to be, and hopefully my hair or my shadow won't be too in the way. I'm just going to line it up flush right there. Press down so it adheres really well. Uh, Stephanie, I'm so excited. Yes, and the tools are great. And actually, I'm sitting here and... Um, I'm looking at my catalog and oh, so excited. It's only $12.95. It's crazy. Crazy. And it's two sided. Two sided. Love it. Yes. Super, super, super cool. And the blade is only $8.95. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Back to this. Now I've got my card acetate part down. And if you adhered it flush with the that edge you've got your panel and really the rest is easy peasy so so easy now what I did to kind of make it nice and even is I attached the bottom part next okay so this one next and again the same same way with our white liner tape if I can find the edge here and again both the top and the bottom edge and, you know, I know this, you can tear this, but sometimes I like a nice flush edge, so I'll cut it with my scissors just so that it's a nice and clean cut right there. 
Uh, Robin, it's in the new, yes, so it's in the new spring, spring into summer catalog. If you were part of the uh, FSJ Live, you were able to um, get one if you made a bundle purchase. And I know it's backwards, so I apologize. Um, yes, and yes, it is going to be in the big catalog. All those tools are, so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna burnish this. Pick up the backing again with my little pick tool. That one didn't want to come off. Pick off the backing. And then it's really easy because I've already, again, I've already aligned my clear sheet. So now I'm just going to make sure that this lines up right at the bottom edge. Kind of on the left and the right. So now we've got the top and the bottom taken care of. And now we're ready for the middle. In the middle, you do the same way. You just make sure that it's nice and even. Okay, now what I'm going to do for the middle, because I don't trust myself, <laughs> I am going to use craft glue because our craft glue just it gives you a little bit more wiggle room for placement. And um, I don't have the steadiest of hands. I mean, they're not terrible, but I would just be sitting here picking it and rearranging and rearranging, and then this would be all warped, and then I wouldn't like it, and it'd be embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and use our craft glue here. And this allows me for some wiggle room. So at this point... I'm just going to eyeball it and get it to be as centered as I can. If you are a perfectionist in your crafting and you do not want to eyeball, then you can bust out a ruler. Hopefully, you'll get one of our journey rulers whenever they um, uh, start um, getting on sale. So, there's that. So, now, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn this... Um, on the back side and I'm just gonna rub it a little bit just to make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere on me our craft glue does work zippy quick but I mean it's not instantaneous <laughs> which is what I like about it because it gives me a little bit of room and time to make it work Sonia can we order the new catalog through for coaches for coaches you can order some of the pre uh, pre-order items through March the 15th, but the catalog won't be live until April 1st. Okay, so Sonia, go into the back of the um, the dashboard under current promotions, and you'll should see the pre-sale items. There's only a few pre-sale items, but they're super cute. Okay, there we go. Now remember, here's where we're going, but today I'm keeping it with the white. So you could do this with the craft. Um, like I said, I started with the white, and instead of putting um, white on here, I ended up doing a craft overlay. Now, the question is, well, what does the back look like? I don't know if I want the tape showing and this, that, or the other. And so, if that's you, then you just grab another piece of either this color or a different color. And this is basically four and a quarter by two and a half. And you cover it up now and this is pretty much kind of what I did my on my original because I did end up going and covering it with that oatmeal cookie even though that wasn't my original intention um, but what it also does is by doing that you're making this card front even just that much more uh, sturdy so this is four and a quarter by one inch this is four and a quarter by one inch and so I've already pre-cut those just so we can go by a little faster you're welcome, Sonia. So you'll just go on the dashboard and look under current uh, promotions, um, which is under sales and marketing. Okay. This one I'll come and cover here. And I'll do the same for that last one at the bottom. I do want to make sure that, see right there, that would bother me. So I want to make sure that, that it doesn't show through 
on the up on the opposite. I don't even know if y'all could tell, but it was kind of peeking through on the bottom, and that would just bother me to no end. <laughs> so make sure that it's not covering that uh, or overlapping so that it shows through. Okay, last one. Same deal. And again, you're only doing this if it really bothers you that the tape is showing, you know, like the little lines are showing or the glue squiggles are showing. Um, if it don't bother you, then you got nothing to worry about. Okay, there we go. I'm going to have to go back and trim that just a tad. Okay, so now you're seeing live and in, in, in person how that needs to be trimmed because it's bothering me. Do you ever do something where you just can't get over it? I promise I am not a perfectionist, <laughs> but little things like that will drive me nuts. So I'm just going to trim it just a tad, and then I'm going to put it back. And thanks to the magic of our uh, Journey Craft Glue, I can do that. There's no way you'd be able to do that with... Um, a tape runner, at least not a permanent one. All right, now I can close it, and now I'm good. <laughs> All right, easy peasy, right? Super easy. Now from here, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment, which I have right here. Maybe I will change it up just a tad. This time. I mean, I'm kind of changing it up all over, aren't I? Changing the sentiment. I'm changing the flower. What sentiment shall I put? Any suggestions, guys? What are your favorite sentiments? Maybe I'll come over and I'll grab... <laughs> I love this. Y'all know you, you like our, our unicorn stamp set, don't you guys? That's one of my favorites. Maybe I will come and I will do so fabulous. I love that sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. So fabulous. Okay, so um, I don't know what, about you, but I always use a stamping tool to stamp my sentiments because um, I like them nice and bold and that requires multiple stumps uh, meaning you know you know what I mean <laughs> all right so fabulous I'm gonna stamp that right here I'm gonna use our black licorice doobie doobie doo Thinking of you, I thought about that one, Deb. I thought about thinking of you. I had it, and then I was like, eh, we'll go with so fabulous. We all like it, right? It kind of fits with that big old bright flower I'm about to put on it. Once, and usually twice is enough for me. It's bold enough. You guys, you know our inks are amazing. And every time you stamp... It gets brighter and bolder and more fabulous. It's one of my favorite things about our inks is that they are layerable. You cannot do this with any brand that I've um, worked with. So this is super, super, super cool that our stamps can do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, gosh, this is like the easiest uh, card, isn't it? One little simple little uh, sentiment. Then we're going to layer it up with dies. Boom. Done. Easy peasy. Okay. Go ahead and bring this one over here so we can do side-by-side -side comparison. So for this one, I was going to change it up just a little bit. I'm going to bust out with this love. And I think I was going to add, let me see. So I'm going to add a few of these. I have all these die cuts. If you watched me from the beginning, you saw me grab my big old box of die cuts. And uh, maybe one of these. Let's just make a little spray. I kind of like the spray. Now, this green is our Limeade Splash, I believe. And... This green is our... Gosh, I think it's our Electric Lime. Y'all come on and tell me. Is that electric lime? Yep. That green is electric lime. 
We have Line Mate Splash and what other green is that? Lemongrass. Lemongrass. Yes. So this one is lemongrass. And let's just see if that one will go right there in the center. I know, I'm kind of just making a big old um a big old statement right here, a mix of greens. And then let's see, I'm going to grab some of these leaves that I had already die cut. And so this is what I do, guys. I will kind of lay stuff out and kind of eyeball it. And then once I think it looks good, then I'll adhere. Is that what y'all do? It's kind of what I do. All right, I'm going to put the flower down. So, so this is the flower that Vivian made. Now, I want to say, when they were creating these flowers, remember, my, my son's third grade class did this. They fell in love with our splashes, and they went to town with our splashes. So if you're not familiar with our splashes, it's these little guys right here. Now, I pretty much brought all the colors, and this was probably their favorite part. They like, they die cut the leaves or the petals, and then they like went to town spraying, spraying, spraying all of their flowers. They loved it. It was probably the favorite part, their favorite part. And it kind of came out cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little puppy right down there. And let me see. Maybe this one will come out here. I think I want my green, my uh, electric lime, to be more on top. Maybe that's too much of that. What about like this? Here, a little petal to kind of give a little bit of interest on that side. And then maybe a tiny one on this side. Something like that. I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Give me a thought here, guys. Give me a thought. I think that's too much. I think it's too much. I don't think I like this one with all little cutouts. How about we put a solid one here. And is this a small one? It is. Stick that small one in there and this one like that. I think maybe I like that a little bit better. Okay. Maybe I'll add this guy going in this direction. Okay, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> All right, that'll go there. I think I'm going to leave it like this, something like this. So now that I kind of got it where I'd like, now I'm going to come in and I'm going to just carefully lift up and put some glue down. So again, some of our Journey Craft glue. I'm pressing it down there so they don't lift and leave. I want that to kind of stay. And then, of course, having the flower on top will also help. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue under there, under this one, and this one. I'm actually going to use, instead of this, I'm going to use a little pop dot or a little foam square. One day I will get over the use of pop dot and I'll call it what it is, a foam square. I sometimes I'll cut them into tiny forts just so that, um, because I don't always need a big one. I just Sometimes I need one like this size, which we do have small ones and I do have those somewhere. <laughs> But these are even a bit smaller than those. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to go ahead and adhere it that way. So it just gives it a little bit of dimension. Did I glue this down already? Yes, I did. Okay. And then let's make sure that that's where I want it. Let me move my flower down just a tad. There we go. Maybe I want that one to go in this direction. Maybe here. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Hi, Chelsea! Thank you, Donna. I'm going to go ahead and put a glue. Thank you, v third grader Vivian, for making this gorgeous flower that I'm now going to use on this card. Damn.
that'll move. So give it a little bit of time to dry and then look how fun, look how fun that is. I mean, that is fun, fun times. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure that, that dries. I'm gonna put all these other die cuts that I have over here just from previous dies from different projects that I didn't ever end up using, which I love, I love. So these were all scraps. I didn't have to die cut a single thing. Not a single thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera view and show you my face. <laughs> Make sure I'm gonna do this right though. So bear with me, it's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. Absolutely, Donna. You are so welcome, girl. Okay. Ta-da! Here I am. Thanks, Chelsea. Uh, you are so welcome. Thanks, Deb. Fun things that you can do with your scraps, right? Scraps. All scraps. All from my scrap bin. <laughs> Look at that. That's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> Letters and all sorts of things in there. And previous flowers from Kid Projects. <laughs> all right, guys. So, again, let me see if I can hold up this one. Original, right here. This is, again, Sketch 22. Go to Journey Sketches if you want to participate. We'd love to see your beautiful projects. You guys are so talented, and this is such a simple sketch. I know you can do it. And then I changed it up today. Color scheme went different. It has nothing to do with the fact that I was just using scraps. <laughs> and this one I went with beautiful pink. Oh, I'm loving that pink. I'm loving that pink. Loving the pink. Of course. There we go. Which one do you like? Do you like yellow or do you like pink? Yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. I'm kind of, this one's like so fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for sticking around. Um, come over, check us out on Journey Sketches, and put your scraps to good use. We'll see you later. Bye.